hey YouTube, the wife wants garden beds, so the wife is getting garden beds. Our current plan is to build three of them. We are not growing anything anytime soon, but we do want to start composting soon. So we're gonna try to fill them up. They will be about six feet by four feet. We laid out some pieces of rock to see what the layout will look like. Let's draw up some plans and go shopping. So unfortunately, these are eight feet. I was assuming they were going to be 10 feet corrugated metal roofing. So I'm going to change some of my math here. So instead of a six by four, we're going five by three, I guess. I haven't used my Ryoba saw for a while, so I'm super excited to make this first cut. I did use a box cutter to mark it, and hopefully it is relatively straight. Going with the cross cut end, and... I should have caught it earlier. I thought it would hold for longer. That's not good. I'm gonna remeasure and see where we're at. <gasps> So hand sawing was a little slow, so I'm going to try to use the circular saw and we'll see how it goes. So that worked out pretty good. I can't figure out how to line the circular saw with these cuts on the bottom. So I'm gonna hand cut these and then I'm gonna stick with the circular saw to do the top two. And we only need to do that one more time. I got all the pieces cut and I moved them to the backyard. I'm using three inch deck mate. I'm sure two and a half inch probably work. <laughs> These were just on sale. That box was originally $30, but it was on sale for $10. And these come with the star shape drive. I've actually gotten a few comments about I should try the star shape. So let's get drilling.
So I can't figure out how to put the driver bit in. This one locks in, <laughs> but this one doesn't. Kind of, it's just, it's gonna fall out and it will be loosely fitted. It works okay, so I'm gonna keep going. The build is going really good, having a super fun time. Here's a closer shot at the screws. We are going to take a break because I broke another drill bit. So going to Home Depot, I will be right back. I just finished fastening the top and bottom of all three gardening beds. Here's an update on my Home Depot trip. The, the guy said, well, you have an impact driver, so you should get driver bits that look like this and not like this. The drill, he said, probably broke due to user error and that I need to back off, give the drill bit adequate time to cool down. Now I'm going to make all the corner pieces. So I'm gonna go back into the garage and cut those. I do love my Ryoba handsaw. But cutting all of these pieces with a circular saw was just so much faster. I'm gonna go ahead and fasten all of these corner vertical pieces together. I got all the corner vertical pieces done. I used two pieces of scrap to hold up the corner piece while I was fastening them. I'm following Pro Tool reviews and they used three, so we're going with three fasteners. Going to move all these to the backyard now and do more assembling. So this is what I've been doing for the corner vertical pieces, a diagonal pilot hole and fastener. Once all the corner pieces are done, I will flip that over and do the bottom side to have a piece that is complete and finished. I'm gonna get these done and then <laughs> figure out what the next step is.
This is where we're currently at. I am loving the look. I didn't think cutting corrugated metal roofing would be so tough, but it is quite tough. The video did say to use tin shears because a saw would kick up a lot of metal debris. This part feels a little flimsy with three fasteners up top and three on bottom. So I'm gonna put one or two on the sides, but I, I ran out of screws. So I'm gonna go to Home Depot and pick up a few more of these. Take a quick break and come back, finish cutting all the pieces. I got one of them done. I ended up going with three fasteners up top, two in the middle and three on the bottom for the shorter side. And the longer side, I ended up doing five fasteners up top, two in the middle and five on the bottom. I, I just, I'm so happy with how it's looking. It's beautiful. I love it. Can't wait to finish the other ones. Good morning, the sun was setting last night, so I headed back earlier today to get all three of these finished. Cutting metal corrugated roofing with tin shears was a struggle. My hands are a little cut up and bloody from it, but we did get it done. Gonna head into the garage, figure out how to make that top part. So I clearly don't know how to measure and cut the diagonals. Who knew building this top part would be so hard? I am short a lot of lumber, so I'm going to skip it <laughs> and leave them like that. I think they're beautiful like that. I'm going to lay out newspaper and cardboard. The theory is they will block out the sun and kill all of these weeds. While we add soil, the cardboard and newspaper will naturally degrade and get incorporated. I am all done. Super happy with how these turned out. We'll see, we'll see how the cardboard and newspaper goes. This is our first time composting. We will slowly fill it up with our composting waste and mix in sawdust with some soil. I love these. 25th video done.